Hey guys, welcome back for another week of zoo school. Last week, we learned about some of these cool animals, and now we are gonna learn about some other cool animals. Hi, I'm zookeeper Jen. I am the supervising animal keeper of carnivores and primates. And today I am here talking to you about our lions. These guys are African lions, but there's actually a subspecies um, called Asiatic lions. These guys are well adapted to all different climates. They live in the savanna grasslands, as, as you guys have probably heard about a lot. But they also live in scrublands and deserts, as well as one forest in India as well still. Oh, look at that and yawn. Thank you for showing your teeth there, Bella. So these guys, as Bella was showing you, are mainly carnivores. That's why they use those big teeth for to eat meat. Um, but sometimes these guys don't always eat meat, especially when they live in those deserts. It's hard to find water to stay hydrated. A lions get a lot of their uh, fluid and their liquid from their prey items. But in times of need where they need water, sometimes they eat fruits such as the Sama melon um, that is in the Kalahari Desert where you can find lions there. These guys are social animals and they're well adapted to more open grasslands um, and open spaces for hunting, unlike some of their related cats, such as the leopards, which are used to hunting in forests for camouflage. Uh, sometimes when they catch their prey, they, they bring it up into trees and stuff like that. These guys, they use their groups to hunt together and they really can ambush those prey. These guys eat things such as antelope and zebra and wildebeest. And the females, like Bella here, um, are well adapted to hunting. They have sleek bodies, they're really fast, and they use their team positions to hunt down those prey. So some might flush straight into the group of animals, some might come around the sides, and they practice those positions, especially when they're younger and they're learning how to hunt. Um, once they take down those prey, um, the females actually give up the food to the males. Um, there's one to three males in a pride and they get to eat first. They get to have their fill and then the females eat um, their fill. And then last, the lowest on the totem pole, so to speak, are the cubs. They get to eat all the last of the pickings. Um, the other names for cubs um, in lion prides are whelps or my favorite is the lionettes. Um, so those guys, they uh, mainly stay with the moms, um, and but they also do spend a little time with the dads learning how to be a lion. And when they're around one year old, they do get to start going out and learning how to hunt. Now the female cubs do stay with their pride that they were born in. The males are kicked out of the pride. Um, and they go alone, either solitary or sometimes in brother pairs, um, out into the wilderness until they find another pride that um, they can rule over and, um, and they can have their own females. Sometimes um, it takes a long time for them to mature and find their own pride and sometimes they find their own pride within a couple years or so. Then the peak of the male's life is when they, they watch over that pride. Um, we've all heard the lions roar. You could hear them for about five miles away. That's them telling everybody in their territory, all the other lions, that this is their homeland. And if you come into it and you're not a part of my pride, I will defend my pride to you, um, against you. So that's why the males have those really big manes because when they fight they'll um, bite and, and grab and paw and scratch at each other's necks um, so that really protects them so the bigger males with the really large manes um, tend to do better in fighting because of that because 
the they they mainly are there to protect their pride and um, the females and then the females hunt uh, male lions are mainly seen resting just like Lex here um, they can sleep actually up to 23 hours a day um, and then just be awake to defend their territory and then eat their fill when the females bring them their food. Um, that doesn't last forever though. Once the male lions are in their older years, um, sometimes they're kicked out of their pride by a younger, stronger male, and then they go off and live on their own or once in a while in pairs as well. We talked about this family group, this pride. They're very special to lions. A lot of the other cats in the world are, are mainly solitary or you only find in pairs. These guys are specialized um, to live this way. And a pride consi can consist of as little as three to four members or as many as 30. Um, but the scientists have actually found that the ideal number of lions is around 11. So that is comparing mouths to feed versus how many adults they have to, um, to, to help hunt. And sometimes they do hunt in that group of about t nine or 10 females, or sometimes they break up in smaller groups. These guys are only successful hunting about 33% of the time. So they're not gonna eat every day in the wild. They're gonna eat one, about once every three days or so. And um, because of that, here at the zoo, we don't feed our lions every day as well. These guys um, eat once a day, Saturday through Thursday. Bella gets about eight pounds of AAA, which is that ground beef with cartilage and bone in it that other people have talked about in their videos. And um, Lex gets about 12 pounds of it. Then on Fridays, it's Fun Food Fridays, our fast day. That's today, actually, um, at the zoo. And they are getting pork tenderloin. So they get a big hunk of meat and they could use all the muscles in their bones and their teeth and tear it up. Other time they get rodents or rabbits or big uh, beef shanks. Um, when they get big beef shanks, I call that toothbrush day because they could use their teeth to gnaw on the bone and then they kind of clean off their teeth that way. The other reason why we do more of that fast day is that it cleans out their bellies and all that bacteria that can break down cartilage and bone and fur in, um, in their stomachs for these great carnivores. Um, Lex and Bella came here from Great Adventure and they're paired together just as a companion pair. They are brother and sister and um, Bella did get spayed. They will not breed here. Um, they've been together their whole lives. You can see they're nice and relaxed here, um, but we hope that when you come on a day um, at the zoo, you get to hear them roar. Um, it is great and the best sound in the whole zoo is when Lex and Bella roar together. Females actually roar too. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the lion habitat with me. My challenge for you is I want to hear your lion roar. Don't forget to hashtag CMC Zoo School. I can't wait to see your hashtags. Come on Bella, let's go!